flight attendant in an international airline can be very exciting as it doesn't only provides free travel around the world but also gives you an opportunity to save money. Though it may not always be the same priority for everybody, but for those who are planning to work here for a few years only, I would suggest to take this opportunity to save while enjoying this kind of lifestyle. Today, I'll be sharing with you practical ways to save money effectively as a flight attendant. For those who are new to this channel, my name is Pia Pai and I am from the Philippines. I've been working as a cabin crew for a while now and what I'll be sharing with you will be based on my experience. I respect those people who may not have the same priority, but these are the things that I usually do when I get my salary every month. Set an amount that you'd like to keep every month. As you may have already know, cabin crew doesn't get the same amount as our salary depends on the hours we fly each roster. But as an entry-level cabin crew, we get around 10,000 reals or 2,800 US dollars. Of course, you get more than this amount sometimes, but this is just during normal months. The good thing about being a cabin crew based in the Middle East is that the salary we get is tax-free and we don't pay for our house rent nor the utilities. So we get more take-home money. Some people also need to send money home as there are a lot of cabin crew who are supporting their families. So perhaps you may want to deduct a certain amount as part of your monthly expenses. Take note, your layover expenses does not include here yet, so you may want to consider that as well. Check how many layovers you have and decide how much you need to spend. If you like me who still loves to go for sightseeing, I always decide how much I should be spending on a certain layover. Some places are quite expensive and some are also very cheap. So prioritize your spendings. There are also places that you can bring your own food and just heat it at the hotel, if they allow you to do so. In this way, you can use your money for transportation or other sightseeing expenses. If you also don't want to go out, you may also bring a few snacks in case you get hungry. It is also recommended to get your own heater or cooker if you're trying to save money on layovers. Also, going to a local grocery shop can help you save a lot as you won't be spending so much like the price of a restaurant. But of course, I don't expect you to just stay in your room throughout the whole duration of the layover. You apply to be a cabin crew because you want to also visit new places and not just dreaming about it while you're in bed. Open another account in your home country. I don't want you to get carried away when you finally get your salary every month. It is best for you to send your money straight away to your other bank account so that you don't get tempted to use the money you earned. Remember, the goal here is to save, so it is better for you to keep your earnings away from your site. It is also not practical to keep all your money in one bank, as when you see something on sale, even if you don't need it, trust me, you will still get the urge to see how much money you have and try to justify that it is your need and that you deserve it because it is your hard-earned money. Do not exchange all your money for layovers. Use your card instead. Don't worry because there are a lot of banks nowadays that have specific cards for travelers like us and won't charge you for international fees. And it is also more practical as you don't get excess on foreign currencies. Trust me, you lose a lot of money if you keep exchanging to all the destinations you're traveling to. I'm not saying you're not going to exchange at all. Of course, you still have to, like enough money to pay for taxi or giving tips and stuff like that, but make it to the minimum. 
you're gonna thank me for this once you realize it's not worth it to exchange a lot of money. Even now, I still have a few currencies in my wallet that I don't even recognize anymore which country it belonged to. One great tip for you is just exchange or keep a few US dollars. Take note, just US dollars. It is because anywhere you go, they recognize this currency and you can also easily exchange it with the local currency. On top of that, most of the Middle East currencies have fixed exchange to US dollars. That is the reason why I recommend it. And lastly, don't forget to enjoy. It doesn't mean you are saving, you have to restrict yourself from doing the things that makes you happy. I mean, it will be a total waste of time when all you do is just get more and more money and not even enjoying it. Time will fly so fast that you won't even realize it that you're getting old in this job. And I know a lot of people who just stays in the hotel all the time because they don't want to spend money. So what's the point of being in this job then? You're not here to just sleep in different hotels and see which ones are the best, right? You'll be missing a lot of things if you don't know how to balance your life. At the end of the day, this job will never be your permanent life. One day, you'll have to go back to where you came from. And the next time you know it, this opportunity will be all gone. So take it one day at a time. Fly, earn, and save. Of course, don't forget to enjoy your time. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you again next time. Bye for now.